Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. This is Snapshot 21W19A. This one will feel slightly disappointing because it is about removing features from the first half of the cliffs and caves update. These features will be in the second half and the reason for doing this is because Mojang feel that they are not quite finished yet and rather than rushing them they're going to put them in the second half of the update which I think is a smart move if that's the way they feel. One of these things is going to be candles, all the different variants won't be available in 1.17. The other one is the skulk sensor which we already knew and the other thing is the bundle now these aren't even available in the creative menu so you have to use commands to get your hands on them like we just did it should be noted though these are still available in the 1.18 data pack through recipes so if i also have a look in the crafting bench you'll see the recipes for these have been removed and in these data packs 1.18 we usually see some terrain generation changes but this time around the only thing they've done is kept in the recipe for these items. Also last snapshot a change was made to infested blocks making them twice as slow to mine and that's actually not how it was done in the past. So many things in this game change over time back and forth with bugs. Uh, that it, this one went right by me but look at this this is the infested block and look how quickly it is mining compared to that one so now the deal is that they mine twice as quick meaning they can catch you off guard and you can get attacked by silverfish another change in this snapshot is with anvils you'll now be able to rename these things longer than before so obviously you can go in and rename a block but now you're able to rename this up to 50 characters in total where the limit before was 35 that's kind of ridiculous right <laughs> but now yeah you can do this and have really long renamed items which is cool the rarity of geodes have also been adjusted these are going to be significantly rarer i'm actually in an old generated world right now so you can see that they do cluster together quite frequently how much by this has been made rarer i don't know that's just what it says in the patch notes and i have now generated a new world and uh, i go under and i see more amethyst geodes straight away like like seriously i can see a lot from right here so i don't know what they changed it by but by the luck of this seed it looks like they're even more frequent now next I want to talk about something that needs clarifying because in a recent 1.18 data pack that we received these deep slate blobs that spawn above Y0 were actually removed from generation and if this were done in 1.17 it means that that update would roll out without the ability to find deep slate blobs down here at the bottom of the world. In this snapshot you can see that they are here and I got some clarification from Mojang on this as well that they are in fact going to stay. So if you are looking forward to digging underground for deep slate in 1.17 it is indeed going to stay. Now we also have some good news when it comes to performance. Currently the game has been updated to work with Java version 16. This is a newer version of Java than it was running on before which can lead to performance increases. If you are using the vanilla launcher then it should prompt you to update and update all of that stuff for you. If you're using a third party launcher you will need to update Java yourself to you know, receive the improved performance from using Java 16. So next a couple of technical changes from the website here you can see that they have added lists for the different types of tool in the game and what blocks are mineable with them which allows you to really customize the experience of how tools interact with different blocks in the world and you can see here there are also tier levels for this as well like stone tool iron and diamonds so if you're making a data pack for a custom experience this is really powerful stuff right here. The item command has also received some new syntax. You can see this is all laid out right here. They've even included an example so that you can understand how this new syntax works. If you work with the item commands, then you'll want to come and give this a read. And next up are the bugs, and there's a couple of things here really worth knowing, but I'm going to take this opportunity just to let you know that the last video I uploaded to this channel was my episode 1000 of the Hermitcraft series. Okay, if that sounds interesting at all, it was a special. I'd really love it if you went and checked it out. There'll be a card on the screen and link in the description box down below. So first up on the bug list, the azalea and the flowering azalea are now included in the saplings list because of course they can be grown into trees with bone meal. Both the squid and the glow squid will now be able to be leashed by leads. Look at that. Let's see if we can yank them out of the water. We can. That's crazy, although it just popped off. Let's actually try and drag you a little further. Yep, look at that. You can transport your squiddies across land now. 
Now the lightning rod can be moved by a sticky piston and if it were activated at the same time the lightning rod itself could stay activated after the lightning strike had finished so that has been cleared up. Now as you know in this game when you go near a puffer fish and you're not in creative mode it will uh, puff up. One of the mobs it was ignoring with this was the axolotl and now you can see it puffs up to defend itself against the axolotl. Now I'm not going to summon it in and destroy this lovely world, but the Wither mob can attack the Axolotl. If the Axolotl is playing dead, which it can do, the Wither is no longer going to attack it when it's playing dead. So this next bug is supposedly fixed, but I just had some unsuccessful testing trying to show you this on camera. So the Glowberries, or the Cave Binds as they know, should now be able to pollinate with the bees. And I checked the game files, the a list for this has been updated. However, it doesn't really make a distinction between either type, like if it's got Glowberries or it hasn't. And the testing that I did just did, like neither would actually pollinate, but it probably takes a lot more time. But anyway, this, this probably does work, and yeah, you can use those things to pollinate with bees. And lastly, the powdered snow now has a break block sound, and it also puts something in the subtitles as well. This is just the same sound as when you break snow. And as always, there were more bug fixes, mostly polishing up things that you'd hardly ever notice. And if you want to go read them, of course, it's all linked in the description box down below. Uh, that is all I have time for today, my friends. And I apologize for this video being later than usual, but I just had other things going on today. Um, so here is the video now. And if you enjoyed it, then leave a like. Thank you as always for the support. Remember to go check out episode 1000. And hopefully I'll see you next week with another snapshot. Bye bye.